Hey there, good morning. I'm John. Today is Friday, August 4th, 2023. Uh, thanks for clicking over to uh, the daily edition of my vlog where I've been documenting how I've been attempting to make content creation sustainable since I was laid off now nine months ago, November of last year. Uh, and it's a slow go, but it's definitely growth. Uh, the short version is uh, in the last six months or so, I've doubled our footprint for social and revenue uh, or more in some cases, depending on the stats you look at. Uh, on the downside, I'm not yet independently wealthy and I'm not yet paying all my bills. So still dragging money out of savings to try to make this sustainable. Um, and so each day I review what's how I've been doing, uh, just like I'm gonna do today, starting with talking about yesterday. <laughs> uh, so all day yesterday, uh, I did writing for recording for the podcast yesterday, which I would say all day, that's that part of the day was doing that. Uh, there was, uh, uh, the one episode we're doing today is actually was being written by one of our fans and so I had a document I had to migrate data over and organize it in such a way plus the standard writing now you keep in mind we've not recorded the podcast for a month now we took July off and we're just doing those kind of uh, repurposed what we call rewinds uh, so this will be the first new show in four weeks that we have done uh, so recording those this afternoon which we'll talk about today in a moment um, then I spent uh, uh, in addition to you know running social and monitoring comments and things like that, I spent some time uh, working on the next Atari v tier video, which traditionally do very very well for us. And so I spend often spend more time on those than other videos because they take a lot of research and, and background to kind of organize and write. Uh, so the good news is I think I'm very close to starting shooting on that. Uh, which realistically means had this not been a short week where I was off Monday and had a four day week, I probably could have gotten out two videos this week. Uh, but it means I'm going to have one probably ready pretty early next week, maybe Monday or Tuesday, uh, maybe, maybe Monday. Uh, anyway, uh, so the next tier is uh, something a little bit different. Um, that I'll tell you here on the vlog because you guys are very interested. Uh, it's something that I'm, um, uh, it's it's an interesting take. So we had been doing publishers. We did uh, Activision and Parker Vision and uh, Coleco and things like that. And um, so in this tier video, what I'm doing is I get so many people, I'm listening to the comments, so many people say, uh, maybe jokingly, why not do Mystique? Why not do Play Around? Why not do, we're talking about the, uh, in 82, there was this little flash of, uh, no pun intended, this little flash of uh, adult themed Atari games and of course they're very tame by today's standards uh, and they're very pixelated and there's nothing terribly raucous uh, but I, I, rather than t picking one publisher I'm picking this which spans three publishers there's fewer than a dozen games um, and uh, so I'm writing them a little more delicately because uh, you know the the content of the game can be you know uh, anyway it's it's that kind of uh, you know you know salacious mildly you know cheeky uh, the thumbnail, you know, has some bright neon on it. It says adults only kind of thing, that kind of deal. Uh, it's, it, it's about trying to find, you know, we're taking something we know works and I'm trying to tune it in a way that might pull in even more people and we'll see what it does. So, uh, that's what I'm working on right now. Um, anyway, so, uh, going into today, I'll tell you stats were on par, nothing big, nothing small. Uh, subscribers were up. We got about 60 or 70 yesterday, I think. So a fine day, especially a fine day during the slump we're having. So uh, if, if the views are down a bit, subscribers continue to be pretty strong. So uh, that's fine. Uh, today, two key things I have to try to do. Uh, the number one is to do as much work on that next tier video as I can. My dream is to release it today. I know that's not gonna happen, I'm gonna try. Trying means maybe I can get it ready for Monday. So I think that's the reality. Uh, at the end of the day, I have to make sure I'm ready to record our podcasts here in the afternoon. So I'll have that ready. In the interim, if I have time, there are a couple of short videos that I've been kind of mulling around in my head. I might try to get one of those done as well. So that's how I'm stacking my Friday. Uh, and I think it's plenty to stack my Friday. I still am doing some advanced planning for uh, the, uh, the sneak preview of the uh, uh, that we talked about earlier in the week, the uh, the pre-release content that I'll have for some upcoming products. Uh, that's still stacking up well. Uh, it's because that partnership is paying off so well uh, for us here. And I'm really anxious to see how those things pan out. Um, real quickly, at the, at the end of the video, I'll share with you just something, uh, since I just crossed kind of an anniversary of since I was laid off, uh, you know, it was the first of the month. Um, I was away at the, you know, I, I was away last week, the weekend, uh, and came back on the first, and was just really 
coming down off, off SFGE, but I was also doing some, um, just some pondering and thinking. And, uh, uh, you know, initially when I first left that job, uh, a lot of my former co-workers were here on the vlog, of course, because I, it was raw, I had just left, they want to see what happened to their friend, that kind of thing. Um, and look, as is normal, those people have gone on with their lives. They have work to do, they have new friends, new colleagues to talk with, and I haven't seen or heard from a lot of them in a while. Um, which says two things to me. The one thing it says is, um, is you know, maybe some of those work friends weren't as good of friends as I thought. And I don't mean that, I'm not trying to shame anyone, I'm trying not trying to denigrate anyone. Listen, I have had work friends, and then I leave a job, and the friendship just psh, never changed. It was just rock solid the whole time. And then you have work friends that were work friends, and when you leave the job, they're gone. I thought I had more friend friends at my work. Uh, there are a couple, uh, but I think more of my work friends were just work friends because we were close, we worked together, and now, in many cases, it's been six, eight months, and I heard from some of them never again, uh, which tells me really their interest in me was our work relationship, uh, which is fine. It's just, uh, the, the, the starting to sound like I'm going, oh, woe is me, I don't know who my friends are. It's not it, that's not it at all. What, what I'm really, uh, I'm not lamenting anything or any friendships lost, because by the way, that's a two-way street, right? I also didn't reach out to them, that's why we haven't talked to each other in eight months or so. I'm well aware of that. <clears throat> but those who I have spoken with, they know who they are and they know who my longtime friends are. What I want to point out at this juncture <laughs> is uh, uh, two things. One, one is an, an introspective thought and one is a realization that I had. Um, the introspective thought is, is, is I wonder now what those people think of this experiment that I did. I'm certain when I left, everybody, everybody, uh, probably said, oh, he's doing a foolish thing. He, instead of looking for a job, he is gonna do this internet thing and uh, burn up his savings and what a fool. Uh, I guess, because I kind of thought that about myself, because I know it's, you know, it's an outside chance. Um, so curious what the attitude is toward people. At, at the moment, they're like, go go get it, John, we're behind you, that kind of thing, because that's what you do for someone. Uh, but I'm curious what people think now, because I'm neither, I've neither failed, nor have I success, <laughs> words. I've never, I've neither failed, nor have I succeeded. So I'm, I'm curious, kind of, I wonder what their attitude toward what I'm doing is. I'm just, just curious. Uh, maybe if any of them still around, they'll tell me. Uh, the, the, the realization that I made is because this vlog is kind of, yeah, it's for somebody trying to make content creation full time, but it's also about someone who was laid off from a job unexpectedly and was cut off at the knees. And um, one of the things I was most, of the many things, one of the things that I was most impacted by is you lose that connection to these people that you've worked with regularly and you're like, you know, it's like, uh, it is, uh, we said early on, it's like a divorce, right? You cut the record heck collection in half and who gets what friends and that kind of thing. And now in hindsight, months after the fact, um, I don't so keenly feel the loss, not just of the job, the job was already frustrating, but at the impact, I also felt I was feeling the loss of people. I was gonna lose these people who I considered friends, who I will miss talking to every day. and. I'm not saying I don't miss that interaction, but now the smoke is cleared very fully. I don't feel it so keenly, and and it's all just kind of a blur. It's something that I did in a past life. I feel no more affinity right now for the job I just left. Uh, I say left, I was kicked out the door, I'm being euphemistic. <laughs> I feel no more affinity for that job than I do for the job I left 17 years prior, which by the way, I love that job and still have friends from that job. That was the one I was referring to. I have friends that I left there that I still talk to regularly. Many of you guys are here. You know who you are and what I'm talking about back at the old TV station. Um, so it's just, uh, I, I guess the thing I want, the, the realization that I made was if someone's watching this because uh, not only maybe you're playing with, you know, making content, but you have been laid off and you see this, you know, ahead of, if you're not watching chronologically, why would you watch months of these vlogs? Uh, the thing that I'll point out is that getting laid off is not the end of the world. And yes, the pain of the loss will be alleviated, but more importantly, with time, you'll realize that the loss itself was not so great as you think it is at the moment. 
Uh, it's, it's definitely an adjustment and a change, but what you think you're losing is largely, you feel you have this large support system and ecosystem of people, really many of those are gonna fall away because they were just there because they were your work colleagues, they weren't necessarily close friends. <clears throat> um, the close friends will follow you where you go, your employment's not gonna change that. And you'll find that out, I found that out. I mean, it's, I, I kinda already knew it, it was just reinforcing that rule over time, you find out is like, I wonder if it would be different this time? Nope, exactly what you think. You know, those those who you are clearly close with and who support you, um, that job's not gonna change that relationship. So don't lament the loss of friends due to a lot change of employment because you won't. If that if if you do, they were not that kind of friend that you need anyway. Uh, it sounds so negative. They weren't the kind of friend you're hoping to support you. They were work colleagues, right? So. Uh, I hope some of that made sense. I kind of rambled a bit, but uh, it was something I was thought, thinking about and I thought as I like to share it with you here on the vlog. Okay, Friday's lined up. Time for me to get going. Thank you for stopping in to check out today's vlog if you did. If you're here every day, I love you for that. Thank you for being that kind of friend <laughs> that we were just talking about. Employment irrelevant, hanging out, uh, being supportive. That's, that's the kind of thing that, that, that's the kind that I appreciate and need and love. Uh, hey, have a great Friday uh, and an awesome weekend, if at all possible. Do something good for yourself. Go do something fun, and I'll talk to you again on Monday. Bye-bye.